your forecast first. Sponsored by Matax Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing. Well, good evening to you. Give you an eye on our cameras out in Jacksonville. And you're saying, okay, well, why are we looking way out there? Well, that's where some of the snow is just beginning to move in. A little pocket there along I-72 in the Jacksonville area. Light snow will continue to be moving east as we go throughout tonight. You can see all that snow well back into Missouri and making its way towards central Illinois here tonight. Temperatures right near the freezing mark in a lot of areas. 31 in Champaign, 34 Springfield, and in Effingham. I really think for, for the most part, most of us won't see a whole lot at least over the next several hours. But after midnight into the Thursday morning, more of that snow begins to move in. The latest on the amounts of snow, we'll show it to you coming up. WCI3 News starts right now. Now from WCIA3 News. Everything is literally a plane, plane right away. A virus has killed dozens of people overseas. We'll tell you what's being done to make sure it doesn't spread in central Illinois. And a woman was found dead outside a home hours after leaving it. Tonight, we know what happened to her. So far, you've only be able, been able to buy weed at dispensaries in Illinois, but soon in Springfield, you'll be able to smoke it there, too. You're watching your local news leader. This is WCIA 3 News at 5. I think it's safer for the students, too, as well as everybody else around them. <laughs> The University of Illinois is trying to prevent the spread of a deadly virus. Good evening, I'm Paul Cicchini. And I'm Jennifer Roscoe. It's a new type of coronavirus. An outbreak started in Wuhan, China last month. It's killed at least 17 people since then and sickened hundreds. WCI3's Karina Rubio is live in our control room. So Karina, what is the school doing? Well, Jennifer, the U of I McKinley Health Center began screening students coming in with any type of respiratory infection for the virus, whether or not they travel to areas with confirmed cases. The first confirmed case in the U.S. was just confirmed yesterday in Washington. It causes pneumonia but doesn't respond to antibiotics. Coronavirus can spread through coughing and sneezing of an infected person. The health center says using a surgical mask is a good precaution. It's always concerning to public health when you see any type of novel virus um, because, again, a novel virus has the potential for a pandemic because there just isn't really any immunity to it. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's the concern. Yeah. But she also says right now you don't have to be too worried. These measures are just in place to be extra safe with a high amount of international travel to and from the university. This is not the first coronavirus outbreak to happen recently. Other commonly known ones were MERS and SARS several years ago. When I spoke to Pride from the health district today, she said that the World Health Organization and CDC is still working to figure out what exactly this new one is. Live in the control room, Karina Rubio, WCIA 3, your local news leader. Glad the U of I, though, is being very proactive on this. All right, thank you. There are travel guidelines in place for people flying in from China. Screening centers are being set up in several airports across the U.S., including O'Hare in Chicago. Anyone coming from areas with confirmed cases there will be tested for the virus. Students are back on the U of I campus for the first time since recreational marijuana was legalized. So, University Housing wants to make sure students know the rules when it comes to smoking pot on campus. Bottom line, it's not allowed. In an email to students, U of I officials said possession or use of marijuana is prohibited anywhere on campus, including university housing. New tonight at 5, Springfield will be the first city in the state to let you smoke marijuana outside of your home. City Council voted to approve a lounge at the only, at the only recreational dispensary in the city. WCI 3's Cole Hanke is live in Springfield tonight. So Cole, explain to us how this is going to work. Well, the main rule for these lounges is that they have to be connected to the dispensary itself. Now, HCI Alternatives here in Springfield already has a perfect area set up for this. It's right behind me here. You can't really see it because the lights are off, but it's a big open space right down the hall from their dispensary. The lounge will serve as a social spot in the middle of downtown. Once you buy weed, you'll be able to walk down a hallway to the lounge where you will be able to consume it. Alderman Doris Turner said Springfield is at the forefront when it comes to these lounges, just like it was at the forefront of implementing legal pot. We put forward an opportunity for adult 
to consume illegal adult recreational um, substance in a very responsible manner. There was only one vote against the on-site consumption lounge, which HCI hopes to have open sometime in the future, but they don't really have an exact date. Currently, the only legal places to consume weed are private residences. Now, Alderman Turner also told me that she plans to have another ordinance filed with the city later on this year, which would have every dispensary that opens up in the city, every recreational dispensary that is, would be allowed to have one of these consumption lounges. Paul? Certainly uh, something that could be popular, hopefully ride sharing or taxis also go up in use as well once that opens. Cole, thanks. HCI is the only dispensary selling recreational marijuana in Springfield. They are planning on opening a second location on the east side of the city. There's another dispensary in Springfield that has not opened for recreational sales yet. They have two licenses. We have new information on a death investigation in Edgar County. 45-year-old Neva Martin was found dead outside a home in rural Christman Saturday morning. The coroner says she died from hypothermia. Someone told police Martin left his home just after midnight Saturday. He believes she was going home. The next morning, he found her unresponsive in his yard. Law enforcement is still investigating. Police arrested a man after they were called out for a report of shots fired. Officers were called to Century Boulevard near Highway 136. When they got there, they heard another shot fired from a house a block away on Girard Street. Police searched the home and found ammunition and three guns. One of those was reported stolen. 30-year-old Sylvester Moore was arrested. He faces charges of possession of a stolen gun, unlawful use of weapons by a felon, and reckless discharge of a gun. Here's a follow-up for you. We told you in November the Edgar County Jail was shutting down for repairs. Those included plumbing, electrical, and heating changes. The county budgeted $383,000 for inmate, inmate transportation to other jails in the meantime. In December alone, they spent $44,000. Inmates are being taken to Clark, Coles, Cumberland, and Douglas counties, among others. County board leaders say they hope to have at least part of the jail back open in early spring. Around 30 inmates have been displaced because of the repairs. A missing teenager with autism was found after he went missing this morning. Police, firefighters, and volunteers searched along Route 45 near Tolono to find him. They went to area businesses, searched fields. The Champaign County Sheriff's Office found him at the Illinois Terminal in Champaign. A lot of relief when they heard after we told them. Um, a deputy was there and, and I and let him know that he was found and you can just tell that they were relieved. He was found before 10 this morning. He told officials he was going to a Walmart. High school students can now walk out of the classroom for two hours. What they'll have to be doing during that time. Plus this. We just want to make sure the elections are fair, free, and accessible to everyone. <laughs> but one U of I professor says they aren't. How a judge ruled on his attempt to get a write-in on your ballot.